What's new in Sunlight Suite 3? The user interface has been redesigned to make it easier to perform tasks more quickly and some features have been relocated to make it more accessible. The icons around the software have been updated so that they can be displayed more clearly on higher resolution displays. Preset icons now follow a new color scheme. We have brought back the menu bar from Sunlight Suite 1 and have redesigned the ribbon bar to save space and allow for the various features of the software to be easily located. For example, features related to a page are now available in the page menu, inside page settings. Docked pages. Docked pages are now combined within the same view, sharing the same ribbon bar. This allows for a cleaner user interface and easier window management. Each window can now be moved easily, only using drag and drop. Within each page, higher zoom levels are now available. It makes it much easier to use with a touch screen. A full screen button is also available in the upper right corner of several views. Contextual menus. Each view contains a menu at the top right corner containing all functionality related to the view. For example, to change the way a fixture is displayed in the 2D fixture view. These contextual menus are different on every window and allow you to quickly customize your interface. Extend view to full screen. Several views now contain a bar to the upper right to zoom the contents of the corresponding view. Live action. Thanks to the new live action menu, you can record temporarily combinations of settings for a range of fixtures. As long as the live actions are activated, you can use the interface to anticipate the rest of your show without impacting the DMX outputs. With the icons on every line, you can deactivate temporarily or permanently each effect. Cycles. The Easy Show software has now been removed from Sunlight Suite 3, and all the functionalities have been integrated in the cycle view. This allows you to recall lighting effects on timeline without having to jump from one software to another. Now, there are two types of timeline available. The timelines of trigger, scene on, scene off, quite similar to the one in Sunlight Suite 2. The new block timeline, which works in a similar way as Easy Show and allows for the automation of speed, dimmer, size and phase. You can now drop audio and video directly onto the timeline. The cycle can now analyze the BPM of the audio track, allowing for scenes and switches to be easily snapped to the beat. Fanning. The new fan function allows for a set of values to be spread across a selection of fixtures. For example, the beams of a selection of lights to be easily spread out into a fan formation. A fan tool is available to the upper right corner of each preset view within the editor and can also be applied to an easy time block by right-clicking on the block. MLT A new priority called MLT, as in multiply the current level, is now available. This allows to create submaster dimmers for several fixtures. VDIMA a new virtual dimmer is now added to all fixtures without a dimmer channel. This allows for dimming effects to be easily applied to color mixing fixtures. The virtual dimmer is very powerful when combined with the chaser and curve effects, or when used when in the new MLT switch mode. New Effects Engine Sunlight Suite 3 features a brand new effect engine allowing for more options of color mixing and matrix effects to be applied to the fixtures. Oh.